Hey guys, um, today is gonna be your last um, test review. Um, so this is gonna give you a good idea of what your test should look like tomorrow. Okay, so um, make sure that you finish this, put it in the box, um, and um, you can use these on your test. So try to write good notes. Um, hopefully you got it down by now. I'm not going to do all of them because some of them I feel like you should be really good at by now. There's just a few that um, I want to touch base on. One of which would be number um, 11. Okay, well, before you do that, number nine, okay, all of these add up to be this one plus this one plus this one, a full circle, which is going to be equals 360. And I'll let you fill in the rest um, of the blanks, okay? Um, 10, I feel like, is pretty self-explanatory. Um, 11 and 12 are pretty similar, and these ones, I, for some reason, I feel like some of you guys are struggling on, okay? Well, if this one is 90, because we got this little square, then we know that for sure that this one has to be 90. Okay, but between these two red ones, we got this one and this one, and they should add up to 90 degrees. So I can say 6x plus 2 plus 40 equals 90. Okay, well, I can combine my like terms. So 6x plus 42 equals 90. Okay, and then I need to subtract. Subtract. So I got 6x equals, and I want to double check since I'm like recording it, but um, 90 minus 42, it's going to be 48. Okay, and then my very last step is going to be to divide by 6. So x equals 8. Okay, the other one is about finding an endpoint. Um, the midpoint you should be pretty good at um, by now. Um, it seems like the endpoint and the distance are the ones that are a little bit, um, I guess I can go back and do the midpoint. If you don't wanna watch it, then you can fast forward. Um, okay, so the midpoint, we got x of one plus x of two over two. And um, that's going to be y sub 1 plus y sub 2 over 2. Okay, well, we can go ahead and label x1, y1, x2, y2, and then it's just a matter of plugging in. So it's going to be 5, not according to my formula, a okay, negative 8 plus 5 over 2. And then y1 is 6 plus negative 5 over 2. Okay, well, negative 8 um, plus 5 is going to be negative 3 over 2. And then 6 plus negative 5 is going to be 1 over 2. Okay, and so we found our midpoint. <clears throat> okay, 15 is about find the other endpoint. Okay, so this is the one where um, we know our midpoint and we know one endpoint of the line segment. We want to find the other endpoint. Okay, so um, we're going to go ahead and label x sub 1, y sub 1, and we know our midpoint is labeled big X, big Y. Okay, and so we really got to use the midpoint formula x sub 1 plus x sub 2 over 2 equals, uh, or comma, y sub 1, y sub 2 over 2 equals big X, big Y. And this is our midpoint. And I know you really can't read that chicken scratch. Okay, so we can plug them in. And we set the x's equal to the x and the y's equal to the y. So I got um, x1, um, well, I'll just write out x plus x2 over 2 equals big X. And then we got y1 plus y2 over 2 equals big Y. Okay, so I got negative 10 plus x2. I don't know it, over 2, equals, and my big X is going to be negative 8. Okay, and I can write the Y's out too. So negative 4 plus Y2 over 2 equals 7. 
Okay, well, we multiply both sides by 2. So we got negative 10 plus x sub 2 equals negative 16. And I'm still solving for x2, so I'm going to say plus 10 plus 10. So I got x sub 2 equals negative 6. Okay, and now I can solve for the y, so I'm going to say times 2 times 2. Negative 4 plus y2 equals 14. And then we add 4 to both sides. y sub 2 equals 18. And my very last step is to write these in coordinate form, the way that they're supposed to look. Okay, the very last ones are about distance, and I'm just going to write you the formula just in case you don't have it or don't have it memorized. Okay, it's going to be d equals the big square root, okay, and it's going to be x sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared plus parentheses y sub 2 minus y sub 1 close parentheses squared, okay. Obviously, you need to label first, um, and your answer should look like money, okay. Um, so we're not rounding or anything. Leave your answer to look like money. Um, and you can type these in on the calculator and make sure you hit the S to D button and it should spit it out for you really nicely. Okay? Um, work hard on these. Use them. Take them to your, during your development. If you need some help, um, you can message me. But um, And then I will see you tomorrow for your test. Uh, have a good day.